Hi guys, Marcia here. This is the Manticore, concept art by Roberto Lima and sculpted by Douglas Martins. In this video, I will show you the painting process of this mini. So the first step is the zenithal primer, a technique that helps determine the placement for the shadows and lights. I start with a black primer, then I apply white ink from above using an airbrush, but if you don't have one, any spray will do. coat of the fur, I will use two tones, a darker one and a lighter one. The two tones that I am using are made by mixing dark flesh tone and black. At the tip of the tail, I am applying pure black to give a color variation. Now I will paint the base coat of the mane using thick sand brown mixed with black. The next base coat is for the wings. I'm applying it on the whole surface area. I'm using dark flesh tone mixed with black for the horns. For the ears base coat, I'm applying brown skin. And finally for the stone base, Kick sand brown. I added black earth brown to the brown skin to start lightening the fur. During the process of lightening, I will gradually add lighter tones, covering in a way that the next layer makes others apparent, both in gradient and in short strokes and overlapping lines. Here I added a larger quantity of black earth brown in relation to brown skin. Then I apply pure black earth brown. Now I'm mixing Bosch chestnut and the Monray flesh to apply on the mane. I continue lightening until I start applying pure Monray Flash. To finish, I gradually add white until pure white.
here, I'm applying the color I used for the fur on some parts of the wing. I'm also increasing the color variation by using golden yellow and the murray flash. I continue lightening the fur, applying a mixture by Lilith Yellow and Bosch Chestnut. I'm going to apply a wash in the wings to help increase the details. This is a ready for use wash. I will make a mixture using brown skin, intense pink, and I also added salmon and I used this pure color in the lighter areas. I'm using pure black to detail the nose, as well the mouth and eyes contour. a chroma metal color on the helmet, but I think it looks like a super new helmet. So I will apply black wash to make it look older and use it. On the wood, I apply a dark flesh tone and then intense wood. For the next step, I'm going to use an airbrush to dilute the inks in a mixture of water and tamiya thinner in 1 to 1 ratio. First, I use it ink intense chestnut, then ink intense black. I apply them to the darkest areas, reinforcing the shadows. As the ink is well diluted, the transition gets subtle. I'm mixing UV resin with Mayhem Red to make blood effect. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to give us a like and to subscribe. See you in the next one, bye bye!